40 30. Olofsky. Olofsky leads six games to five, third set. McEnroe leads two sets to love. Well, he's remained absolutely imperturbable, hasn't he? It's remarkable, this. No signs of tension at all, of course. Uh, a complete contrast between the two players. And that last point was uh, an indication of it. Deep serve, well, the serve very close to the, the center line. A low volley, which he puts just beyond the service line, under normal circumstances, I think McEnroe would have got that one away, but just puts out an arm, he does the Russian and puts the volley away for a winner. Very warm out here. And both players really uh, trying to cool down as much as possible. Drinking a lot of liquids, very important on a day like today to do that. Time. And Seats, please, ladies and gentlemen. There's similar problem Thank for the you. spectators. So, of course, as the players change ends, quite rightly, they get up, get a little bit of exercise, let the little bit of breath of fresh air. So, McEnroe, for the second time, has now has got to hold his serve to stay in this third set. Really struggling to find his game, missing shots that we are not usually accustomed to seeing him miss. Looking. Rather vulnerable. Fifteen love. Calm as you like. Serve not quite far enough up the sideline, so he didn't have to move wide. Plenty of time here, forcing his opponent out wide and uh, easily that playing that volley into the open space that poses no problem for him. Played with the instinctiveness of a natural volleyer. Quiet, please. Thank you.
Well, very, very few serves have been delivered to the backhand. In fact, only a third of all his serves have gone that side. And for almost the first time, losing his cool on a relatively easy pass, giving us that little smile. It's another rare thing. Please. Chatter from the crowd. Second serve. Game <laughs> 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 oh. Well, that was dramatic indeed. Six games all, third set, tie break. Ace, to serve. number eight on second serve to give us the first tie break of the match. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah. One zero, McEnroe. Usually able to find just that little bit extra when it most matters. Second service. Quite the fiercest return we've seen today from Olhofsky. Taking advantage of a slightly less than perfect length serve.
Too old. Suddenly there seems to be a greater intensity both sides of the net. Three, two, McEnroe. Balls to my left. So the fifth double fault, giving McEnroe the Balls to my left, please. advantage again. Roll them down. Just been. Uh, Roll them down, please. First two points went against the serve, and now this one. stage McEnroe. for McEnroe to get his first serve uh -huh. in as he did on that last point because uh, his opponent you never quite know what he's going to do he, in the early part of this tie break on the second serve he hit the finest forehand return that we've seen from him in the match so it's very important to keep him on the defensive Four two in McEnroe's favour. <laughs> so that eighth ace taking McEnroe now to within a couple Thank of you. points of a place in the quarterfinals. down. He's up 25 seconds. Didn't see much of that 12th ace whistling past. Well, the crowd generally have been behind McEnroe throughout this match. These two points could do it. the coolest man in the place throughout this match and finds quite one of his best returns of the match but McEnroe has served very sparingly to that side perhaps that's why Racket brings him at last to match Thank point. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Now it's long. Six all. 